lifting the veil. A major implication of not knowing who you are and what a birth certificate represents, can mean the difference of going to jail or not. What you don't know can and will hurt you, you say and do will be used against you. First, a clarification about the ownership of the birth certificate. The BC is not the property of the governmental services corporations operating as your estate and usurping the public trust you are owed. It is a certificate of title or cat. This was it. In the end the birth certificate is your property in trust. It is your indemnity receipt given to you in exchange for the legal title they have received and hold to your estate. When you present yourself in court with a certified copy of your three-step authenticated birth certificate in hand, you hold both the legal and equitable slash beneficial title, which is the complete title to that name, and the certificate is your legal title to property in hand. There can be no excuse for any judge or lawyer mistaking this fact, however to keep their money machine going based on your ignorance, they routinely contrive to continue presuming a role as executive administrator of your estate, when you answer as the name or respond as the all cap warrant, bill, indictment, in any capacity other than as the agent for the name estate at that time. You then default into pendant slash trustee slash surety because you misidentified yourself and didn't claim your beneficiary position, thus you lose. They get you hello with that name. They then pretend to have the right to overrule you, when you are no longer acting as the and adult beneficiary of your estate. Why can they do this? You volunteer to act as an incompetent and as trustee slash for the entity, and not as a flesh and blood living being and beneficiary to your estate, the one who is holding title. You have to know who you are and what you are doing. The court then proceeds on this basis by deliberately falsified public records and conducting a probate court as if you are dead, as someone with no rights. Do the dead have rights? No. You do this all to yourself by your status and standing, and conduct. The court presumes a duty to administer and take from your estate, use a fruct, as it now appears unclaimed. Any charge, in the monetary sense, civil or criminal, is organized theft, or so it seems. Or did you actually give it to them? A gift is not theft, get it? Therefore our doing is legal and proper, because you volunteered a gift, in every case. These probate courts, they all are actually probate even if they call themselves, civil, criminal, etc., have been misinformed by you to the effect that you are missing and therefore are presumed dead by your own actions. Unclaimed and dead as if you were Robinson Crusoe lost at sea and unaccounted for. Acting upon this known and obviously false presumption, the judges act as executors de sun toward as they should, and dispose of you and your property however they see fit. This unclaimed property they hold is why they can claim a bond value on the case, then go straight to Wall Street under the court's trading account, and start trading bonds backed by your estate. They hold something of value, so why not? Usufruct, you failed to identify yourself as the beneficiary of your own estate, thus they presume you abandoned that property right. This happens in nearly every court case, which is why 98% of defendants, trustees by default, lose. It costs the court too much trading profit to let you win, they are municipal corporations with an I number like any other corporation. These lower courts, state courts and US district courts, have nothing to do with the facts or real victim-based crimes. That is the game that is going on. This is a form of fraud known as a reverse trust scheme in which the trustee public or private contrives to usurp the position of the lawful beneficiary for their own or an accomplice's gain. But it is not a crime for them to do this if you volunteer, as most everyone does without realizing what is really going on. So stop doing that. It is that simple. This is all being done via the use of deceitfully similar names, e.g., John Henry Doe versus John Henry Doe. They are getting away with it because the basis of the fraud has been set up many years before, whenever you enter a courtroom with an attorney or without knowledge of the game. And you volunteer for it? Yes, 
by entering with an attorney you are already abandoning your estate and admitting to being incompetent and assume the role as trustee and therefore abandoned your claim to being the sole beneficiary, you can't be both positions in a trust. This has all been constructed and sent, while you were still a baby in your cradle, and equally without the knowledge or consent of your parents. Then they spend a lifetime keeping this from you, especially now using propaganda in TV and movies and public schools to teach you how to answer to these people as sir, and as if they are authorities, when in reality they are your servants. Don't they always tell you to get a good attorney? It's all taught backwards folks. Didn't they say in the movie The Matrix 1 it is all about control, mind control? That movie is one of the few telling you what is really going on. They have built a prison for your mind in order to turn you into a copper top battery. To finance their bankrupt corporation. Dude. <laughs>